I gave my life to Christ. I'm finally a good husband that my wife deserves. And my son actually has a father that he can be two proud white of. Males on the east corner. I'm telling you, dude, let it sink in and just give it up. Nah, oh, man. I think I'll just take my chances with the misfits, you know, my people. Boys got some hunt license? Hey, you stay here! Two friends. So where you get off telling me what I can and can't do in my day room? We've already established the pecking order. You ain't nowhere near the top of it. So you can go on and get out of my presence. Is that an overnight detail? It is. You know what that means. No paperwork, no call outs. Basically a night of watching movies on your cell phones. <laughs> a few guys are asking for this detail. <laughs> Yo man, that's mine. <laughs> Hold up. Lieutenant, you remember last week when I stayed over for you, you said you'd owe me one. I'd like to cash that in tonight, please, sir. All right, that settles it. Daniel, come see me after the briefing and uh, I'll let you know what's going on, okay? Yes, sir. If you're here for round two, don't waste your time, bud. I lost it the other day. That's not who I'm trying to be. Oh, come on, Gary. You done playing with the big boys so soon? I normally don't like picking on somebody weaker than me. But I was trying to make my name for myself and I figured you'd be good. <laughs> yeah, well... Sorry to disappoint you. Looks like you have to find someone else to play with. Two lifestyles. Noticed over the past couple of months a change in kind of the way you carry yourself. Does this have anything to do with that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could say that. Thomas, honey, you won't have to be quiet. Your daddy had a rough night. Okay. You go outside and play. All right, I'll go outside, but tell him when breakfast is done, because I'm starving. All right, I'm getting ready to start it. Grab him gloves off that back porch. Definitely looking forward to this breakfast. Listen to him. How's your arm feeling? Surprisingly not that bad. Go ahead. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it was pretty good. Hello, I'm Juliana Simmons with a breaking news report. This morning, Turner Townsend escaped custody of a local jail. Turner was arrested last night for assaulting a police officer while resisting arrest. After being stopped from breaking into a local business, he is considered armed and extremely dangerous. If you have any information on where Mr. Townsend is located or if you come in contact with him, immediately call your local law enforcement agency. We will bring you updated information as this countywide manhunt continues. Two sets of problems. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite little snitch. Come on, Landon. You know what type of weight an accusation like that carries in a place like this? Man, you can save your antics for someone else. You and I both know I ain't no snitch. I saw Kennedy coming out of here the other day. Everybody knows what that means. Dude, straight police. Yeah, Kennedy was in here searching. <laughs> but he wasn't searching for nothing regarding this place. Care to elaborate on that or I gotta ask? <laughs> Oh God, Daniel, where's he at? Thomas! Thomas! You know, if somebody threatened a man's family, you'd think you'd take precautions to ensure their safety. If a hair on my son's body is harmed, I promise you, your death is gonna be a slow and painful one. Now, Mr. Officer, you're not in any position to be making threats, are you? Seems the stars have aligned and I'm in control. Welcome to my world, Daniel. Where is my son? Where is my son? That, that seems you're gonna be more difficult than I expected. Two scenarios. So what's your selfish reason, man? Uh, I need some guidance. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. Of course. I owe you. 
Alright. So, you all right? Yeah. We'll make it. Be careful out there, man. Hey, man, you all right? What's up, Brenda? No. Well, dude, whatever you need, I'm here for you. That's why God made us friends, dude. So we can help each other out. What's going on? Sometimes you gotta fight battles alone, Brendan. So you don't bring anybody else into it. Uh, I don't know. I've kind of felt like God's been trying to reach me. I wanted to come to you because you're more knowledgeable in the Bible than I am. Kind of hoping you could. All units 1018 to booking, officer involved 1044. Repeat, all units 1018 to booking. We have an active officer involved 1044. <gasps> and my gang is here! <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna you so bad. Thank you so much. One goal. Hear you out. I've heard all I need to hear. I ain't gonna sleep again until my nephew is in your arms. Ain't nothing much about I get it. I felt the same way, dude. I was ready for war. And heck, if we're being honest, I still am. But I just feel like God's been talking to me through this whole process. Do you know why the Lord has been on your heart so much lately? Why, Brendan? Because he wants to meet this idiot face to face and we are gonna be the ones to bring him to. I know and I get it, but I really feel like God's wanting me to actually witness the Turner. It's like he's trying to use me as his vessel. In the face of extreme adversity, will Daniel and Garrett return to who they used to be? Or will they follow God's calling for them in their individual situations? We invite you to follow along as we take a journey in what it means to be a modern day disciple.